All right, our Honda Ridgeline just turned 50,000 miles, so we're gonna do an oil change and tire rotation. All right, so our oil filter is right here. So I say taking this wheel off is great. It's got this metal bar right under it. And so I've tried a lot of things. I usually just take a piece of this plastic sheeting and wrap around it. But today I'm gonna try this uh, Glad pressing seal. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just rip off, rip off just a little bit of this stuff. So press and seal if you if you've never used it, um, it kind of sticks to itself. Uh, so like for food uh, leftovers, it's like you you seal it around a plate or a pan, and then you can unstick it, use the food, and then put it back. So I thought it might be good. But this might be a little easier to use than the plastic sheeting since it would stick to itself. Um, so I'm gonna kinda feed it through about halfway. Just kinda spread it out on that metal beam. First time using this, don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. I always get comments recommending, you know, different tricks, and I have tried tried them on this particular uh, application, and just usually find that they don't work as smoothly as on cars with more clearance. But this right here, you know, the reason I wanted to try the press and seal is I was able to just feed it through one time on the top, grab it on the bottom and wrap it around itself. Whereas on the plastic, because it sticks to itself, whereas on the plastic sheeting, you have to sit there and feed it through and grab it and make loops. So then that's just more of a pain. So I already like this better. I'm not saying it's gonna work great, but I think it's a good try here. So I use the strap style wrench. So it could, because it's skinny, I can get it under there. So once I get it loose, I go ahead and get my wrench out while it's still clean. And then I spin it slowly so that once I get that oil coming out, I can just kind of let it sit there for a second, let it drip down, see how it's dripping on that bar and it's dripping into my oil pan. So I'm going to spin it a little bit more. So all we got to do is just wait a few seconds. I'm going to find a clean spot on the filter and try to keep. Okay. So all that's pretty much done. So if you just back off for a couple of seconds, that little bit drains right out. I can finish spinning this filter off. By the way, I always do this when the oil's warm, so this filter, you know, has some heat to it. Makes your oil flow nice. So then I just turn the filter upside down in my drain pan to get it to drain. That ring is still on there. And I'm going to wipe these threads where the new oil filter is going to go. I'm going to wipe this surface where... We're gonna tighten the filter up too. Let's clean that off really good. Okay, so what I was doing is wiping off that surface so it's nice and clean. Make sure your black rubber seal's not on there and everything's clean. Um, you just wanna hand tight. Uh, so if you pre-fill it, make sure you don't tip it and spill it on your way on your way over. So I'm going to put it up in there. I'm going to line those threads up. They're slightly angled. So it's not quite straight up. It's, and then just go easy. So if you meet any resistance, back off and start over. You don't want to cross the thread. So it'll just spin on easy when, it, when the threads are lined up. We just contacted the base. I'm going to turn it. Turn it. And then because my hands are oily, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and see 
I grab this press and seal. See how easy that came off? So now the trick is, yeah, dragging it off without spilling that oil on your bar that it caught. So we got that off of there. The only oil I see right here on this edge where it dripped off the press and seal. So I wipe that clean. That is my new way of doing it right there. So that is effortless. You'll find links in the video description to all the products that I use. I hope that's been helpful for you. Thank you for watching.